Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all those who have joined. My name is Erica Hashemi, and I'm part of the Mojo Networks marketing team. On behalf of our presenters and myself, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for one of our new and exciting weekly demos. I would now like to introduce our presenters today, Freddie Mangum, CMO at Mojo Networks, and Sean Blanton, Senior Park Product Marketing Manager at Mojo Networks. Today, Freddie and Sean will use the next 30 minutes to discuss and demonstrate how Mojo Networks can extend the power and effectiveness of your wireless network, as you also take away the five ways cloud makes your Wi-Fi easier to manage. So without any further delay, I'm going to go ahead and pass the floor to Freddie. Great. Thank you, Erica, and thank everybody for joining today. Uh, we want to be very respectful of your time, and we hope that this particular uh, time will really help you really manage your Wi-Fi much easier. We're going to cover five key things, and Sean will be going into specific, into specific examples and be able to actually show functionalities within our product that accomplish these key goals, which is one, to really have one single place, one single architecture that can unify all aspects of Wi-Fi on access, security, and engagement. Two, to basically enable you to give you a very simple way of changing uh, policies and configurations uh, from, from one single interface. Three, enable to highly customize the architecture uh, by leveraging a set of open APIs that can match your existing workflow. Number four, uh, really give you a central way to, uh, to define your policy and enforce it on an ongoing basis across various types of users. And lastly, to give you a set of uh, tools that are integrated with that architecture and that platform to make it very easy for you to troubleshoot in a very intuitive and informative way. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to Sean, where he can provide some specific use cases and actually show the product demo itself. Sean, over to you. Thanks, Freddie. All right, guys. So I'm very excited to talk about these ideas and uh, tell you a little bit about my experience with, with my customers and, and those I've worked with. Let's start with number one, unified. So a, a customer of mine that I, I worked with uh, over the last couple of years, 500 locations heavily distributed throughout the United States one single network engineer. Now, at the time that we first engaged, they were offering Wi-Fi, but it was very basic. And they were challenged with ongoing compliance needs, in this particular case, PCI and SOX. But they also had their marketing department wanting to engage with their customers and use Wi-Fi as a way to do so. So they ultimately opted to work with Mojo because with Mojo, they were able to gain a unified platform to handle all of their needs for access, security, and engagement. So let me show you exactly what we mean by that. So you can see here, I've, I've logged into uh, the Mojo platform, and what you're looking at here is something we call Launchpad. Now, Launchpad is where you have access to the Mojo Cloud platform. It's where you get everything you need to design and deploy and, and maintain your Wi-Fi networks. Our primary services are really designed to help you get access to in this case, Wireless Manager, distributing and pushing out all of your network configurations. Now, this is going to apply to access. It gives you the ability to monitor and, and to troubleshoot issues that may be affecting the network as a whole, but also for your security issues as it relates to scanning and identifying rogue access points and other wireless threats. In addition to that, we have access to Guest Manager, which is going to give you an opportunity to further engage with your end users. Uh, this may be in the form of analytics, learning about and, and understanding larger trends. It may also So that's how uh, one aspect that the cloud makes managing Wi-Fi easier, unifying uh, that single platform. Now let's talk about change. So in this particular uh, customer, now we're starting to get much larger. Uh, this customer I work with now, 8,000 locations. Over the next two years, planning to add an additional 2,000 locations. They have a central campus, but they are also highly distributed. They also have a very small IT team, three individuals responsible for this network. For them, the ability to make policy changes was an absolute must, given the diversity of their network. And at that scale, they were really challenged with how they were going to accomplish that easily, without making a tremendous number of micro policies that would require a lot of manual effort. So they opted to come to Mojo, because with Mojo, and in particular, utilizing Mojo Navigator, they were able to make changes very quickly and very easily across their enterprise. 
So I'm going to hop back into Wireless Manager and show you just what Navigator is all about. Navigator provides a unique way to organize your Wi-Fi network that really brings ease and automation to network design, deployment, and monitoring. As you see here on the left, my network is managed in a logical, hierarchical manner, which means that no matter how I want to organize my particular network, I'm always looking at one single perspective. And what I can do is I can push and pull uh, configura configurations with just a single click. Policies defined within the corporate folder here will apply to all of my branch offices and all of my main offices automatically. And not only that, but as I click into smaller groups, you can see that all of my data, everything I'm looking at is location specific. So I have exactly the amount of information I need, whether it's at the highest level or at a very granular level. This is going to help me understand the health of my network very easily and implement changes at a very rapid pace. So number three, customization. Now, working with a customer in the Fortune 50, this particular customer is looking at, at least to start, 20 to 30,000 locations across the globe. And in this particular case, what they really need, where their largest challenges lie, is the ability to create their own workflow. What they needed was a platform that was open that allowed them to uh, design a process to deploy and to manage and to get health statistics about their network globally the way they want to do it because of how large they are in the organization that they've set up. It needed to be extensible and they needed to be able to orchestrate. And so they chose Mojo because using Mojo API, they were able to accomplish that goal of a customized workflow. Now, the Mojo API is a powerful interface on which programmers and application developers can access the entire Mojo Cloud platform using custom apps and clients. It's web-based. It's built upon what's known as a RESTful architecture, which simply means that it responds to modern HTML commands, making it very easy to adapt to uh, the current language that uh, runs applications and websites today. Within uh, Mojo Launchpad, I have the ability to create, manage, and control all my keys, which makes it so that I can define policies and uh, really define who has access to what on my own. And one particular example that has really flooded through uh, our entire customer base is what we call Mojo Nano. In this particular example, we leveraged our API to develop a simplified GUI for creating and deploying networks and automating the aspects uh, that were not necessary for that process. Simply put, using Nano allows you to create a network with one single click, a username, or excuse me, an SSID name, a password, that's all I need. The API has a lot of other applications and it really helps to answer the, uh, the question about how do I customize my workflow. Number four, policies. Here, working with the Fortune 500, about 750 locations nationwide, they have a very large central canvas, or excuse me, central campus uh, here in San Francisco, uh, but they were also uh, looking to deploy Wi-Fi throughout all of their branch offices. And at the time that we first engaged, we were looking at a separate Wi-Fi system and a separate system for wireless security. A very strong security group, a lot of influence. Now, what they wanted to do was to converge the two, to get the best of both worlds. But the most important aspect, aside from, of course, the capabilities of the platform, was the ability to separate access. They need to have clear lines of division between security and access on their networking team, and they needed to be able to distribute access throughout their entire organization so that they could provide access to support as well as engineering. And so that's why they chose Mojo. They chose Mojo because of our ability to use role-based access control and profiles uh, to build clear lines of policy delineation. So let's check that out. I come back into Launchpad and I move over to the admin staff. 
Here, I can create all of my users and manage all of my users across the enterprise. What's really great about this particular system, one that's called Mojo One, is that it provides me with the ability to create user profiles, not just user accounts. A profile can have very specific access to very specific applications and services. So in this particular test, we'll turn on Mojo Wireless Manager. Oops. Leave that here. And you can see that even within individual services, there is a lot of lines that I can draw in terms of what the user can do by defining their user role from super user all the way down to viewer. We can determine which locations they have. Remember, we talked about Mojo Navigator my ability to organize my network in a logical way, I can also define where certain users can have access and what they cannot see. And finally, I can even draw a line between Wi-Fi access and wireless security. So that in this particular use case, they were able to draw a very stark line between what security could do and what the networking team could do. So finally, number five, troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is a challenge for all of us. In this particular customer's case, a thousand locations, highly distributed, a very small staff centrally, and no local IT. For them, Wi-Fi troubleshooting was very difficult. And the other systems that they were looking at didn't make it any easier. They needed a, the ability to not just distribute troubleshooting capabilities to their support team, which was largely made up of junior staff, but also to reduce the time to resolution and make sure that from a central location, they could address the needs of every single one of their locations. And so that's why they chose Mojo, because with Mojo Packets, our graphical packet analyzer, they were able to do just that. Let's take a look. So I come back into my dashboard and I hop into Mojo Packets. As I mentioned, Mojo Packets is a graphical packet analyzer. In fact, it's the industry's only cloud-hosted GPA, and what it's designed to do is to analyze and visualize packet captures to overlay information and make remote troubleshooting capabilities from start to finish. All right, so using Mojo Packets, you can see here I've actually uploaded a couple of sample packet captures. I'll just hop into one here to give you an example. The first thing it's going to do is analyze that capture and provide me with a dashboard overview. The goal here is simple. Point me in the right direction. In this case, among the 25 clients picked up in this particular trace, there's clearly one that is causing issue. And in fact, I can see here that the top clients by connectivity failures, it's very specifically a data failure. This really helps drive my next decision on how I'm going to troubleshoot this issue. At this point, I can hop into the trouble device, and Packets then visualizes the very individual trace. And here, I can look at all the various packets that are being sent across the wireless spectrum and really zero in on where my particular issue is. I can zoom in, identify individual packets as they exist. I can look at them from different views and even overlay data like data rate, frame size, and throughput on top of the frames themselves so that I can really get a crystal clear look. And again, all of this being uh, handled by the cloud gives me the capability of distributing this out to my team and making it very fast and very easy to put together. And so guys, thank you so much for, for joining today. Again, those were the five ways that cloud makes your Wi-Fi easier to manage uh, by looking at unifying the platform, making change easy and widespread, giving you the ability to customize your workflow with an open API framework, creating strong policy controls that allow you to separate duties across the enterprise, and finally, making troubleshooting easier and more accessible to your team. Great. Thank you, Sean, for that. And uh, Eric, I think we want to turn it over back to you for any questions. Yes, uh, I'm going to give it here just a moment for everyone to submit any questions or comments they have for our presenters today. Um, as Freddie mentioned earlier, we really want to be respectful of everybody's time and make the most of these gatherings. Uh, <clears throat> so if you're not already aware, we are, uh, we're running these now every single week 
on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, so we have a, uh, a series of upcoming webinars that are going to be occurring uh, at this time every week. So we'd love for everyone to join. Um, and if you have any additional questions, next week we have a series coming up on uh, delivering reliable Wi-Fi. So really, uh, we want to help you find six simple ways to keep your Wi-Fi going strong. Um, and we have these going through the very end of the month. So we look forward to seeing you all online. Uh, let's see if there are any questions that came through here. Okay, someone's asking, how do you get Mojo packets into the interface? Is that an add-on? Yeah, I can address that question. Uh, so the, the quickest way to get access to Mojo packets is to simply drop a line to either your support uh, teams, that's support at mojonetworks.com, or you can give a call to your Mojo rep uh, to help facilitate that process. Uh, but it's really a simple flip of the switch in order to gain access to that. So if you don't already see it, that's the best way to get access to it, uh, and you'll be able to get that turned on right away. Yeah, and to be clear, there's no additional uh, charge for that capability. That's all included within, within the architecture. Great, thank you. Uh, another question here coming in. <clears throat> Do you provide a voice application along with Mojo? So that's an interesting question. I, I actually, I'd love if I could get a little bit more context to what you mean exactly. Uh, if you're simply referring to the ability to support VoIP over uh, our access points, uh, the answer is absolutely, we can do that. In fact, we do that uh, throughout our offices here at Mojo, um, and I've uh, deployed that at multiple customers. So VoIP is certainly an application that can run over uh, a Mojo wireless network very easily. Great. Thank you, Sean. Um, I'll give it another uh, minute here for that attendee to um, to divulge a little more if they have additional questions. Um, and I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention in the chat window. Um, as I mentioned, those webinars we have coming up every single week, I posted the link for you to go ahead and click and check it out and register for any additional ones coming up. Okay. So, it uh, looks like we have a couple of follow-up questions offline, um, Sean, so we'll connect with the attendees uh, afterwards. And of course, if you do have any <clears throat> any additional questions that come up, you can feel free to contact us uh, at mojonetworks.com. You, you can call us here at this number, 877-930-6394. Or you can send us an email, myrep at mojonetworks.com, and one of our Mojo reps will get back to you shortly. Uh, again, we thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, and we look forward to seeing you online. Um, I will be launching a very short survey for questions at the end of this webinar. We'd just love to get your feedback um, so we can continually improve and make the best of your time. Thank you for joining, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean and Freddie. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you.